Hi everyone, it's Eric Goines from Flywheel Studio. I have a quick tutorial on how to make a waiting room in an Adalo app today. So for a lot of Adalo apps, we don't want to just let in users uh, that we don't know. Maybe you want to approve users or um, you know, you're, you're limiting access for some reason. And so, you know, there's, there's a bunch of different ways that you can do this based off of what you are expecting um, from your users and how you want to approve them. But I want to show you how to put in that gate to prevent users from just automatically entering the app. So what we've done here is whenever a user signs up, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to capture this information and on the submit button, we will sign the user up and we're gonna let our admin know. Uh, you know, let me let me actually go to the database first here. So for every user, we have two true false uh, properties here. The first one is approved. This is whatever you want it to be. It doesn't have to be approved. It could be admitted or um, you know signed up, whatever. And then we have an admin property as well. And that's just because of the approval process that are put in here. If you want to approve it on a dollar's back end, you don't need this second one here. OK, so when a user signs up, what we do is we notify the admin. OK, so all users custom filter admin is true. Hey, there's a new user. This is their email address and it takes them to the screen that I'll explain later. And it sends that user to the waiting room. OK. You, you hopefully will design this screen better. It just says you need to wait for approval. And then what we have here is a button. Let's rename this um, enter. And this is only visible if the logged in user is approved. OK, so when you first sign in, you will not be approved. So that will not be visible. You'll have to sit there and wait until you're approved. And once you're approved, that button will become visible. And we did the same thing on the login screen. So, you know, if the user was to log out somehow um, before they're approved, we have uh, two um, actions here. The first one is they will go to the waiting room. And that's sometimes if the logged in user approved is false. And if the logged in user approved is true, then they will go to the home screen. They'll just enter straight into the app. And I made a little approval process here for the admins. So I have uh, a button here. It's only visible if you are an admin, okay? And all of the users who join the app uh, who are not approved, approved is false, will show up here. And if you click that little plus icon on the right section there, that will update the user and that will make them true approved and so then they will be able to enter the app and actually let's just for good uh, measure let's just add an, a notification here so trigger notification and for the recipient let's do the current user um, and we'll just say you've been approved okay and that uh, should take them straight to the home screen if they were to click on that so very simple to set this up in a Dalo. Uh, I called this the waiting room, um, but you know we do this on a lot of apps where we want to make sure that the right person is entering the app. On a side note, if you are trying to have people enter the app but join a specific group, then check out the tutorial we have on how to add a referral code. That's how you can prevent uh, users from joining the wrong group or seeing the wrong information if you have subgroups within your app, like organizations. If this tutorial was helpful, uh, do check out all the other tutorials I have on YouTube. If it answers your question, definitely give it a thumbs up so other people can find it. And then if you like content like this and you like my other videos, then you would definitely like our course Nodalo. That's where we build all of these things in detail from scratch. And we go through the step-by-step -step process of setting those up. So I hope that helped. Have a great day.